So, so it's my pleasure and honor now to introduce the recipient of the C. David Marston Award. And as you've heard already, um, Professor Stanley Fan and, C. and David Marston were the two founding fathers of our society. So the C. David Marston Lecturer Award was created to recognize an outstanding scholar and inspiring neuroscientist in the field of movement disorders. The selected lecturer must show evidence of exceptional contributions which have resulted in better understanding of the neurobiology of movement disorders and have translated into tangible improvements in clinical therapy and or providing insight into normal brain function in the control of movement. And I can think of no more deserving recipient of this award than Professor Nobutaka Hattori. So. Professor Hattori um, was, uh, is the professor and chairman of neurology at Juntendo University um, School of Medicine. Uh, he is a very active member of the Japanese Neurological Association, but also of the International Parkinson Disease and Movement Disorder Society, serving as the chair of the MDS AOS section from 2015 to 2017, and also a current member of the International Executive Committee. He, as a scientist as well as a clinician, Dr. Hattori has been interested in the etiology and pathogenesis of Parkinson's disease. He has received numerous Japanese and international awards and is the only Japanese doctor to be selected as an honorary member of the Spanish Neuro uh, Neurological Society. He's published more than 900 scientific papers and has an age factor of 83. And he's going to lecture us today on the challenge to elucidate the pathomechanisms of Parkinson's disease from pathogenesis to biomarkers. So, Nobu, thank you. So, thank you so much. So, kind, uh, kind introduction. I am both delighted and very honored to receive the prestigious David Marston Lecture Award. So, I will be talking about pathogenesis to biomarkers. Biomarkers new data from our laboratory. So this is my CUI. So Parkinson's disease is a progressive disorder. So now there is no current rate uh, disease modifying therapy. But I want to get disease modifying therapy. Disease modifying therapy is stop the progression of the disease. But in now, let's cure PD, uh, let's let cure uh, PD. And so many so pathogenesis for Parkinson's disease, among them the mitochondria, Disorder is a significant cause for Parkinson's disease. So this is the cottage, the right professor, Miramed. Mitochondrial involvement in neuronal death through the following function. Mitochondrial toxin, MPTP, cause PD like disorder. Mitochondria release a series of molecules that can potentially trigger program cell death. Mitochondria generate toxic reactive oxygen free radical during oxidative energy production. Damage my mitochondria fail to provide the cell death with life preserving energy. Impure the mitochondria if not disposed, like mitophagy, can kill the cell directly. Currently, one of the significant causes is mitochondrial impairment. So this is the, so my young colleagues, so uh, my friend, so Ikebet, reported about increasing deleted mitochondrial DNA in the terminal of the PD brain. And you can see it deleted mitochondrial DNA, all PD patient. In contrast, two controls show deleted mitochondrial DNA. Using the single molecule PCR approach, 
So single PCR approach quantified deleted mitochondrial DNA. And recently, fraction of deleted mitochondrial DNA is significantly higher in cytochrome C oxidase deficiency neuron than in Cox positive neuron, suggesting that the mitochondrial DNA deletion may be directly responsible for impaired cellular respiration. And the mitochondrial respira respiratory chain that could be involved in oxidative stress and also dopamine also dissociated of oxidative stress. And the mitochondrial DNA had been increasing on aging process. So therefore, the repair enzyme for mutated DNA, oxidative oxygen species are highly reactive and oxidative nucleic, nucleic acid using the frequency of mutation in DNA. DNA means nuclear DNA and mitochondrial DNA. 8 oxidd and 8 oxidgtp induce occurrence GC over CD to TA transversion, transversion mutation. Among them, three major repair enzymes. So MITYH and OGG1, this enzyme so removed adenosine opposite to 8 hydroxyguanine And also MTH1, this is important enzyme to regulate. So for prevention of mutagenesis in DNTP pool. So this is immunohistochemistry for MTH1. AD control, B, Parkinson's disease, CF, so MSA. You can see the active immunoreactivity for MTH1. This is MTH, this is 8 oxo digit. Except for nucleus, you can see cytoplasmic immunoreactivity. This means mitochondrial DNA may be so uh, damaged. And this is immunoblot analysis. You can see all PD patient, MTH1 bound corresponding to MTH1, and very surprised, MSA control, no bound. MSA and PD very similar, but Mitochondrial enzyme, repair enzyme, so only Parkinson's disease is increasing. So oxidative stress. There is no doubt, so mitochondrial and dopamine them, themselves induce oxidative stress. And HNA, HNA is a marker for oxidative stress. HNE is one of repeat peroxidation. This HNE adapts amino acid, lysine, cysteine, histidine. And very, very interesting, so selected alpha synuclein. Alpha synuclein, seven KTKGB repeat. This KTKGB contains two lysine amino acid residue. So this means Alpha synuclein may be susceptible for oxidative stress, especially uh, R of C, R of S. So protein and the lysine system histogen. And uh, this is the 1996 PNAS report. We reported immunohistochemistry detection of HLE protein adduct in PD higher than control. And to clarify the source of HNE, next step, this is mitochondrial myopathy. You can see ragged red fiber. And the same ragged fiber show immunoreactivity for HNE. 
And uh, this is Western blot analysis. The component synuclein protein plus HNE only incubation. So you can see, depending on the HNE concentration, so high radar molecule. So this is uh, synuclein, this is HNE, the same filter. So this means, so synuclein could be susceptible for HNE. And we binding start using LC mass analysis. But we expect Lysine may be involved in HNE attack, but only we can detect histidine 50. This is one amino acid. Maybe so LC mass analysis may be used. Uh, it can be leading so adapted and stable compared to his sitting HNE adapt. So therefore, I could not confirm adapt to so regime, but the synuclein may be uh, they, they will, uh, attacked for oxyrepsilis. And the next synuclein, the blood dear hit Hypothesis, a dual hit hypothesis is fast, fascinating. So many Pakistan did have prodromal phase, constipation, sleep disturbance, and then followed by motor symptom, and finally dementia. Two pathways, olfactory valve and bearing a nerve path. Uh, pathway. Alpha synuclein might transmit uh, along with two pathways such as olfactory valve and venous nerves. Alpha synuclein aggregation uh, distribute not only brain but also systemic organs. Retina, mandibular gland, stomach, gut, skin, and cardiac sympathetic nerve. How to distribute alpha synuclein? Alpha synuclein should pr propagate through blood. This is our hypothesis. So one paper that mentioned about systemic alpha synuclein seed administration in mice. Transverse ad administration of Alpha synuclein seed to mice propagate into the brain. So, very good data. Blood administration, 10 mice, and 10 mice show brain pathology. In contrast, oral administration show 50%. So, this means the blood also origin for propagation system to brain. In synuclein patch, alpha synuclein seed in serum spread and develop systemically. So, as you know, RT quick. RT quick is the good method to detect prion like protein. And also, to flavin teeth specifically binding to beta cyst structure protein. Initially, if trace alpha synuclein and plus recombinant normal synuclein incubation, so easily, so this recombinant protein, so like prion solid, changing to combating to beta cyst structure. And then, to flavin specifically binding to this beta sheet structure. So we are successful to identify abnormal synuclein sheet in blood. Conjugate anti alpha synuclein antibody with dynamite, and then to mix the patient serum. 
and also concentrate alpha synuclein, so including abnormal seed. And then, Chuflavin detecting machine can detect alpha synuclein. So detect a trace amount of alpha synuclein seed in serum. We can derive conventional blood tests to see if Parkinson did it or not. So this is the result of IP, immunoprecipitation plus conventional rt -quick. So Parkinson did it 95 percent, MSA 64%, but PSP 3%, Alzheimer's did it 16%, Parkin 0%, control 8.5%. Control, aged control show RT quick test positive. And very interesting RBD. RBD is a risk factor for well, developing two Parkinson disease, 36%. Among them, so easily will be developing two Parkinson disease with confirmed RBD with RT quick positive. And so very interesting, so this is the uh, electroscopic Transmission electroscopic microscopic can detect differences between PD, DLB, and MSA. Very interesting. PD so twist structure, DLB multi twist filament, MSA twist filament, not divided into two fibrils and RBD, so uh, like DLB. So, and so very interesting diameter so of alpha synuclein seed. MSA, wide side, Parkinson did it, small side. And also, establish of an assay, in vivo assay system, using culture cell for easy differentiation in actual clinical practice. Transduction of serum alpha synuclein seed into GFP fused, a 53 t alpha synuclein mutant, stable expression, hex 293 t cell. You can see Parkinson did it by basket right, MSA staff for inclusion, DLB cotton dust right. And also very interesting, the RBD patient show cotton right. And the density of GFP could differentiate between PD and MSA. So this RT quick maybe yet, it will be so possible to monitor various risk factor patient and also pathophysiology based on the hereditary PD research. So, so many, so genetics. And so red circles showed you three genes, so identified by our group. And this is the research foot slip, foot sprint uh, of Parkinson's disease. And the red letter showed you our group. So discovery of Parkinson's gene has been identified in 1998, and many so achievement of our group and the group. But it is remained, it remained unclear why the parking mutation show long, long, long duration when mitophagy defect. And also at advanced long duration bad packing mutations show excellent responsiveness to Rebdopa. Mitophagy, it is true, but detailed mechanism is unclear. And CHD, this is 
autosomal dominant Parkinson disease using the next generation sequencing. And so this gene is located near complex three. Loss of Parkinson disease. So CHH D2 affect to reduce oxygen consumption. So this gene the direct link to mitochondrial function. And then you can see this is wild up, this is mutant CHH D2. So abnormal mitochondrial morphology. And also ATP production, so decreased in CHCD2 mutant. And very interesting, the one autopsy, although one autopsy, but you can see so many silicon deposit. And also very interesting, CHCD2 facilitate alpha silicon toxicity. And the uh, knockout might show you sinucrein aggregation. And also, uh, loss of CHD2 facilitate uh, accumulation of sarcosyl insoluble alpha sinucrein. Very interesting, interest, interesting. And the CHD2 bind to cytochrome C around with a member of the box inhibitor one superfamily mix one and moderate cell death signaling suggest CHCD2 dynamically related, related function of cytochrome C in both oxidative phosphorylation and cell death in response to mitochondrial stress. So I want to so propose two pathways. Primary event synaptic, synap, synaptic alpha synuclein aggregation. The other primary event mitochondrial. So hypothetical schematic presentation of the two possible series of molecular event intervening, either between synaptic deposit and induction of mitochondrial dysfunction or between the mitochondrial function deficit and accumulation of alpha synuclein at the synapse. And please note, in both stations, calcium ion rise and production of oxidative stress mediator uh, pivotally involved in, the, in connection between mitochondrial impairment and alpha synuclein synaptic Pathology. And uh, so finally, it is so P P S A P gene, prosapsin gene. So DBA is a risk factor for developing two Parkinson disease. So many lysosomal storage associated with Parkinson disease. GBA and clapped pervert, Neman Pick, metachromatic leukodystrophy are genetically linked to Parkinson disease. Saposin, the spingolipid activator protein, prosaposin. Saposin activates lysosomal spingolipid degradation via lysosomal enzyme. Saposin deficiency also causes, causes spingolipidosis. We have the three family. And uh, most of the mutations so, uh, disrupt Sulfido uh, bond, and we also sinuclein. Maybe we have no autopsy, but Artie quick showed you. Maybe so prosapsin family also may have alpha sinuclein pathology, and we are so knocking masks, and so heterozygote and homozygote. You can see heterozygous and homozygous, both uh, no queen mice showed you dopamine deficiency. But only homozygous no queen mice showed you loss of precarious cell, like MS said. So uh, I think the, so, 
a few patients may have prosepsis homodiagnostic. And uh, isogenic IPS dopamine neuron, we speculate change in sphingoglycolipid and ganglioxido. So we performed LC mass analysis, especially lipidomics. We can detect GM1 so decrease. In contrast, GM3 increasing. So in accurate gly glycosylation of protein and lipid may induce dispersion of Golgi stacking and also this stacking accelerate protein so trafficking and finally dysfunction of Golgi related protein may induce Parkinson disease. So this is the normal prosepsin. Lower panel shows you so pathogenic condition with sepsin D domain mutation. Pathogenic sepsin D domain is highlighted in red. Mutation in the prosepsin D domain may cause the retention of prosepsin in ER, possibility resulting in the reduced delivery of sarcosin to lysosome. Finally, alpha synuclein could not be degraded. Information from the PD research. IPRT quick to use for monitoring system and diagnosis. Many friends so call me Mr. Jin, but today, Please call me Mr. Articuic. <laughs> Many different mechanisms, not all mutually exclusive, but sometimes they are changed our range. PD is not one thing. Featured, what PD do you have? So genetic study may be a powerful tool to classify subgroup, and also RT quick may be uh, available for detecting Parkinson's disease. So I'd like to acknowledge and thank so many collaborators in Japan and abroad. Thank you again so for giving me so great honor of the Marsden Lecture Award. Thank you for your attention.